Good afternoon. My name is Ashley. My name is David Price. My name is Daniel Snyder. And today we're going to be talking about the North Carolina Courage. So some background information on the North Carolina Courage. Uh, they are located in Cary, North Carolina. They play at the Wake Med Soccer Complex, which uh, the men's NCFC squad uses as well. Their owner is Steve Malik. Uh, who is part of the United States Soccer Federation Board of Directors, as well as the chairman of the National Women's Soccer League. So he has a lot of uh, influence over the league. Um, the North Carolina Courage do play in the NWSL, or the National Women's uh, Soccer League. They joined in 2017, uh, where they have had three NWSL shields, which is a regular season title and the two championships, which are back-to-back -back championships. Some of the strengths that we identified, uh, one, just like I mentioned, that they are back-to-back -back NWSL uh, champions. Uh, popularity of soccer uh, in the area for Cary as well as the state of North Carolina. Um, they also have one of the largest youth soccer clubs in the nation with over 700 teams, so they have a lot of exposure. Uh, throughout the country, and they did finish top half in attendance for the NWSL uh, this past season. Uh, some of the weaknesses that we identified, it is still a young league, um, still developing. Uh, debut season for the NWSL was 2016. Uh, for the website for the North Carolina Courage, uh, there were no promotions listed to help increase attendance for the upcoming season. Um, it is a women's sport, so it does not get as much publicity and promotions as the men's uh, club does. And ticket pricing. Um, the box office prices at uh, NC, FC, or the Courage Games uh, start at $19.99, and we'll identify which other teams that they compete with in threats in just a moment. For opportunities, uh, they do have the potential to play in a $2 billion stadium that's being planned for construction in the second quarter uh, in downtown Raleigh of this year in 2020. Um, average income in Cary, North Carolina is higher than the US average, so there is more opportunity for leisure activities and people looking for things to do in the area. Um, at $97,000 for Cary compared to the US average of $51,000 for the household income. Um, the low crime rates in Cary, North Carolina can help promote a safe environment for families um, as well. Reported crimes have uh, decreased in volume by 6% uh, being reported from 2018 to 2019. And there's a large volume of college students to advertise to. Uh, just within the general area, you have UNC Chapel Hill, North Carolina State, Campbell, as well as Duke. For threats, uh, fans of the Courage uh, can enjoy those games at bars in the downtown area. Instead of being outside, they you know if it's raining or in the cold, they can stay indoors and watch the game and still support the club. Uh, they do have minimal television exposure. They just signed a uh, CBS deal for this upcoming season, which will um, help promote more exposure for the club in general, as well as the NWSL. They are competing with the Carolina Hurricanes in tickets. Um, they are being advertised as low as $18 for the Carolina Hurricanes. So you have the opportunity to go watch a National Hockey League game um, for the top division. Um, and as well as college athletics, um, students um, that we will be targeting for this presentation, they can, fit, they can attend free athletic events um, on their campuses. So uh, we wanted to, for our market objective, focus on, at, uh, focus mostly on attendance at North Carolina Courage and ways to bring it up. Um, more focused is more on our college students. When we looked at the 2019 season, we kind of wanted to see what the attendance was within a 12 game regular season and uh, on Populous website, uh, it said that there was 70,496 people that attended the 212 games that season, which was a 15% increase compared to the 2008 season. Um, Populous also talked about and broke down the average of the people that attended each game. 
And on average, there was about 5,875 people that attended the games. But we also wanted to kind of see where, um, which attended the most games. And Sh Sh Shanti T, um, she said that during the championship game, there was 10,227 or 27 people that attended the championship game last season. Um, we also, on um, Populous, kind of wanted to see an average uh, to see where North Carolina Courage st stand. And for North Carolina Courage, they stand in fourth uh, for attendance on average and as well as total attendance. For our target market, our main target is mainly college students. And although that is our main target, we still intend on targeting other age groups as well. One of those being the youth, which we could reach out to easily because of the many youth soccer teams in the area, such as NCFC Youth, which is sponsored by the NCFC and Cary. And 68% of fans that attend the NWSL games have either played or currently play soccer. And um, there are many universities around the area that we could target for college students, such as UNC Chapel Hill, Duke, NC State, and Campbell University, which gives the team plenty of college students to be able to target. So looking at the four Ps, um, we wanted to start with product. With um, North Carolina, we wanted to look at North Carolina Courage product and our product that we plan to provide or to show today. Um, with North Carolina Courage, their main focus is their youth soccer organization. Um, they like to give their youth program an opportunity to grow and to be involved with their community itself. Um, which is great, but they lose focus on other uh, other programs or other people and fan base as well. So our, our product was being that we are focusing on college students. We wanted to focus um, and maybe do a college night for the students. So with their purchase we, of a ticket, they would receive a t-shirt um, to represent their school colors. And we, we also kind of looked at like pricing with the tickets and pricing with the shirts. And per, I have a personal friend who works with shirts and does stuff for Rutgers University. Um, and she kind of gave me a breakdown of how much a regular shirt plus a regular um, added print on as well. And it can average between 10 to 20 bucks. So with the purchase of a ticket, they receive a free t-shirt. So uh, with North Carolina Courage promotion, they really, like David said earlier, they really didn't have much promotion to give for many fans in general. Um, if people use a promo code to order any merchandise online, they will receive a 10% off on their merchandise. Um, like I said, they mostly focus on their youth group organizations and with their youth group, they receive some nice stuff that comes with it. So they have a complimentary tickets that receive to any of the NCFC or NC Courage games. Um, if they wanna do a group team night, they can get received discount group rate tickets, which are $10 per kid. And they receive also any on-field experience. So fan tunnel when they walk out with the players. Um, they can be ball kids, bench warmers. Um, players companion which they interact with the players uh, during warm-up and after the games and they receive many more different experiences. Lastly they also receive a 20% off merchandise on any of their uh, clothing or scarves or hats or any of that. Now for se season ticket holders they don't receive as much with the merchandise but being that how much they pay for the season, they receive a general parking take, uh, parking uh, place for them. They will also receive priorities to their playoffs, so they'd be the first be person to be notified if there is a playoff going on within the stadium. Um, they will also they also receive any season ticket amenities. Now, our promotion that we would like to give is with the purchase of a ticket. 
um, the first 100 students that attend the game will receive a uh, free t-shirt, but any student in general, if they attend the game and show their college ID, they will receive a discount on the ticket. Now the place where North Carolina Courage plays at, the location is Cary, North Carolina, which K the town of Cary does fund their soccer field as well. The stadium is called Salem Stadium, which is located at Wake Mid Soccer Park, which is built in 2002. It is a home field for the Women's United Soccer Association Carolina Courage. It is um, Salem Packaging sponsors um, North Carolina Courage and NCFC in 2017. And the stadium is, was a host for the ACC Men and Women tor uh, tor Soccer Tournament, as well as they were the host for the U.S. Men's and Women's National Team Friendly. For pricing, we looked at, we wanted to get a general admission pricing on one ticket compared to their seasonal ticket. And their general admission was $18 per ticket. Well, with season tickets, they average between $168 to $840. And if you look in the photo right here, it shows each section of what it costs and, and where they are located. So $168 would be located for any supporter seating, as well as end line and upper level seating. The $216 will be located, they'd be seated at the east sideline location. The $240 tickets would be located at the west end line or the east midfield location. The $336 seasonal ticket, they would be seated at the west sideline ticket or location. The $432 tickets would be located at the west midfield section. The $600 would be the closest on the field experience and they are gonna be on the field level. And then you're lastly, you got the owner's box, which is located in front of their suites. Now our North Carolina Courage tickets that we would like to show for students is having the students show their ID and they receive a discount with their tickets. The price would be $12 per ticket for students. Our first method of research, we looked at other organizations to see what they did differently to bring fans to the games. The NC Courage season ticket prices ranged anywhere from $168 to $840. The lowest season ticket price for a team was the Washington Spirit, which was only $90. And the highest season ticket price for a team was the Portland Thorn, which was at $1,575. And of all nine teams in the league, the average lowest season ticket price was $155.50. And the average highest season ticket price was just over $729. And for the marketing strategies for other teams, the Chicago Red Stars boosted their kids club by using their mascot supernova to advertise and if you look at all the other teams websites nobody really advertises their kids club as much as the chicago red stars does and the sky blue fc they have by far the best community relations in the league they give back to their community by focusing on education wellness and unity For our second method, um, we went with operational observations. Uh, so myself and Ashley, uh, we've had the privilege for working for NCFC or North Carolina Courage Games. And these are just our general observations from what we both see from different departments. Um, so I was in the press box um, with about six, seven other people. Um, for communications in general, there was one to two people with communications on game day, and they would help interact with fans across multiple social media platforms that included Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. 
so with only having one to two people, you're not able to be on the field to interact with those fans and uh, getting a recording of the celebrations of goals scored or any uh, good plays. Um, for me as well, yes, I had the uh, had to work with operations, which was a privilege. Um, and with that, we were able to set up the stadium and take down the stadium. So we were pretty much there from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Um, we were also in charge of helping out people if they needed help with locations, um, helping out with the ball kids or uh, the fan tunnels or flag barriers for the kids. Um, there was an average between seven to like 12 people. So mostly 10 people were helping each day in operations. So we were, as David said, he wasn't as much like interacting with fans as much as we were. So I got to observe the kids and I got to observe the fans a lot and be around them. So I was able to see what type of fans were attending the games and which people did not. And I noticed that a lot of times it was more families and older people that were attending the games and there wasn't as many college students attending the games. We also worked um, a survey. We did it on Instagram and Facebook, and we wanted to get a just a general uh, question and answer from random people. So um, we asked four questions. The first two were yes and no questions, and the last two were open-ended. Our first two questions were, um, would you go to a sporting event if they had a student discount? Um, 57 people answered, and out of the 57, 51 of them said yes, and six of them said no. The second question that we asked them was, if a sporting event had College Appreciation Day and you received free merchandise for attending, would you go? Again, we had 54 people that answered, and out of the 54, 50 said yes, and four said no. And then we had the two open-ended questions and the first question was what is a reason you attend sporting events the most popular answers we had included to hang out with friends to watch the sport entertainment to watch a star player if they got a free ticket and the atmosphere and then the second question we did was what is a reason you do not attend sporting events and the most popular answers we had included price, location, disinterest, too busy, and lack of entertainment. And for our final method, uh, I utilized my subscription through uh, Sports Business Journal to compile some analytics. Uh, in particular, for the North Carolina Courage, uh, the average attendance per game was 5,875. Uh, fans with a 15% increase from the 2018 to the 2019 season. Uh, the North Carolina Courage did break their season record for average attendance, as did every other team in the league, uh, which is great um, exposure for the league and in particular with North Carolina Courage as well. Uh, that took the average for the entire league attendance-wise. It increased it on average to 26.3%. And then last uh, for competition analysis, we looked at all the team's websites, what they offered for merchandise, ticket promotions, and season ticket prices. So I compared um, along with Ashley and uh, Daniel with what team we could identify um, as similar to the North Carolina Courage. We came up with the Portland Thorns. Uh, so season ticket holder benefits for both the Courage and the uh, Portland Thorns get discounted individual tickets at the box office, uh, discounts at the team shop for certain percentage off, um, upgraded seating options, and a dedicated ticket executive uh, personalized to you. Um, what North Carolina Courage did differently um, compared to the Portland Thorns in this example is uh, any season ticket holders with children, they get to participate in pregame fan tunnels. Um, child gets to participate as a player companion, so walking out with the starting 11. Um, 
they also received concessions coupons for a meal at the game, um, pregame field visits with uh, staff, coaches, players, just getting a fun, uh, good interaction with them. A special, a special message on the video board. So just a thank you for being a season ticket holder and supporting the club. You also uh, have the opportunity for a starting 11 uh, photo opportunity and a complimentary seat upgrade upon game day. Uh, a couple of things I would like to mention before we wrap this up. Um, the NC Courage and the NCFC with that $2 billion stadium um, in progress and motion to be built. Uh, more of that funding is focused on building that stadium versus having a full in-depth website. So there are some corners being cut there. And the Portland Thorns do have a MLS men's team, um, which gives them a lot more funding and a lot more staff to provide a fully interactive website. Um, so in conclusion, to wrap things up, um, we wanted to focus that North Carolina is a fan base, um, mostly for youth and elder people. And they really do not focus a lot on their students or their college students. So going back to the, the four Ps, we wanted to show that um, with their product, we do plan to do a college night and to have a discount for students that attend the game with a college ID. And the first 100 people will receive a free t-shirt with it. Um, we also wanted to just show that the North Carolina Courage doesn't have as many amenities and it has an, as much um, promotions as they would like. So kind of figuring out ways that we can promote to our people and to the students to reach out to them to attend the games and for ways to increase the attendance. So thank you.